guys, it is Vivids and welcome back to another video. Now in this video, or well this is another episode of my How I series. Yeah, another episode of my How I series. And in this episode I'm going to be showing you uh, how to get 99 Divination essentially. And uh, the methods that I use. Now, throughout the um, throughout this video, this probably isn't going to be um, the video where I'm going to show you guys like the maximum XP per hour to do Divination. I'm just going to show you guys basically the bearable way to do Divination. And the way that I use to get 99 Divination. Now I've left something in the bank that is quite essential. And that is called the Wisdom Aura. Unless I already have it on, that would be embarrassing. Um, now, yeah, so I've got the Wisdom Aura. Basically, what that does is, I'll just examine it just to show you exactly what it does. But basically, it, it increases all experience gains by 2.5% for 30 minutes, I believe. And basically, uh, this is going to help up a little bit because, you know, you don't want to be doing divination for a very long time. But basically, I'm going to show you guys um, how to do how to get 99 divination from about 80. Um, now, for the 80 is uh, brilliant, so I'm going to quickly show you guys. Basically, all you want to do is all you have to do is teleport to um, the Jill Arena, which is this one, and then just run up northeast until you get to the brilliant uh, the brilliant Wisps. Um, basically, it's, it's, not, it's not very hard to do, so I'm not going to run all the way up there just for the sake of the video. And they can be found on uh, Dragon Tooth Island, I believe it's called. So this is the Radiant Wisps. So basically, what I'm going to do is, um, I think you just need a Ghost Beak amulet and oh no, I got a Cramulet. And basically, all you need is um, the Ecto file, and you know that's all that's all you need really. So you just use your Ecto file, and then um, use your Cramulet to make your way over to the Dragon the Dragon Tooth Island. Yeah, so basically once you're over here, all you have to do is uh, travel the Ghost Captain and then start divinating on the Wisps. But uh, later on in this video, I'm going to show you guys the most effective way to actually train the skill. At this stage, I'm just showing you like almost just the locations and the quickest way to get there. But um, feel free to skip ahead to the time um, linked in the description. And that will show you like the most effective way to actually train rather than just, rather than just me showing you guys... Um, you know, how to get to spots. So regarding the Luminous Energies, guys, I really do not recommend going into the desert to harvest the Luminous Energies because it's really just too much of a pain. First of all, you have to use a Ferro Scepter to teleport to soften them and then run south, and it does take a little while to actually get to um, get to the spot. Well, not really, because you always, unless you have a Ferro Scepter. If you have, if you have a Ferro Scepter, it's really, really easy. But um, if you don't have a Ferro Scepter, use the Slayer Ring teleport to um, Simona in Polovanech on the Slayer Ring. So basically just use that and then run south, run to the Carpet Dude and then get him to um, gypsy his way over to soften him and then run south. But I didn't actually use the Luminous Energy spot um, and the reason for that is because first of all it's in the desert and you have to use some water skins or if you have an enchanted water um, hat thing like the entire um, tiara I think it's called and you just have to enchant it with water runes so you can stay there for as long as um, almost as long as you want if you charge it with enough water runes um, but you know I just didn't bother because I thought it was too much of a hassle so I just stayed at Dragon Tooth Island until I believe it was 95 and then from 95 to 99 I went to the incandescent energies which I'll show you right now okay so re regarding the incandescent energies basically um, you need five items that are essential to get you know the best divination XP per hour and that's the wisdom the uh, Ring of Dueling, the Incandescent Energies, which you buy from the GE, Myth Grapple, and the Rune Crossbow. So basically, the most effective way to get to the Incandescent Energies, or with the 95 plus energies, um, basically, I just like to equip all of this stuff, and then I use the Dueling Ring to teleport to mobilize ar Mobilizing Army. Now, you don't actually need a Cramulet or a Ghost Beak Amulet, I just left it on, because um, I was too lazy to take it off. Once you teleport to the Spirit Tree, basically teleport to, I believe it is... Mountains east of the Poison Waste, so that's the very, very last option. And then once you're here, basically just run south. And then you're going to grapple your way over over the little lake looking thing. So just make sure you get nice and close to the tree and then grapple over it. And then all you have to do is run west. And I believe that's the best spot to get chompies as well. So if you're looking for chompy kills, that's probably the best spot. Um, once you run west, you basically get to, um, you know, your incandescent wisps. Wisps, so they're looking a bit dodgy. I'll see if I can improve the quality of them. There we are, guys. Now we have some nice looking wisps for you. Um, so, a couple of things while you're training divination. Uh, one major tip if you're looking for the best XP per hour is to buy your energies. Now, if you have enough money and you know you want to get 99 as quick as you can, I really do highly recommend um, buying your energies because it does speed up your XP per hour by you know by considerable amounts. Um, I'm not sure what the exact. Um, the exact percentage is per hour and the exact, you know, um, XP per hour is, you know, to the dot. But basically, you want to be buying your energies to um, maximize your XP per hour. And the second thing is using the booms. Um, 
I think they're called booms anyway. So basically, here we've got a... Oh, I don't even have a boom here because you know, it's 99. So at the end of every level, so for example, if I'm 80 divination, um, basically the energies that you use throughout uh, 70... I think it's 70 to 80 or 75 to 80 divination, whatever it is. So basically from uh, 70 to 80 divination, whatever energies you're using there, um, once you hit that 80... Basically, use the energies you use from 70 and 80 to make the boom. So you can use the boom from 80 to 85 divination. And once you hit 85 divination, use the energies you use from 80 to 85 to get, you know, the boom to get a little bit more XP per hour. And then, you know, obviously do that until you get to 95 divination because once you hit 95, you can't do it anymore. So basically, once you've got a full inventory, um, you can just right-click the rift and hit... Uh, convert to enhance experience. Now, this is obviously the best way to do it because it um, saves a few ticks rather than clicking on the rift and then clicking the third option. But it's really up to you. And essentially, well, I believe this can be a reasonable money maker as well because the incandescent energies are um, are not too too cheap. And um, this squeal of fortune is oh my gosh, come on man. But basically, I'm going to check the price of these quickly. So one of these is actually 125 GP, and you get three per harvest. So it is a very, very good way to make money if you're, um, you know, if you're basically almost a low level, and you have 95 divination, and you don't really know how to make money. Because obviously, if you're a max player, there are better ways to make money, obviously, through, P through PVM and um, through some more skilling and things like that. But basically, that's all I've got for you guys today. So just make sure you have your Wisdom Aura and buy your energies, and then basically use a convert rift, but, you know, divination is not the, not the most difficult, not, not the most difficult skill to do, um, if you're wondering, you know, how you get to 99, basically, you're sitting here for ages, thinking it's going very, very, very slow, that's because it is a very, very slow skill, so you're just gonna have to put up with it for a little while, now, it didn't really take me that long, it took me about a month in general, uh, in total, to get 99 divination, so it's not too, too bad. It's also good because you can, uh, you're AFK as well, so you can watch YouTube videos as well. Um, so that's always nice. It's a very, very nice skill to do if you, you know, you like just relaxing on RuneScape, just speaking of some friends and watching some YouTube videos. But basically, that's all I have for you guys in this video today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.